Hey friends, I think it's safe to say that for most people, myself included, it is hard to be patient. It simply does not come naturally to us. You know, I remember once during Christmas when I was young, I was so excited to receive a particular gift. So, while all of the adults were busy in the kitchen in the dining room, I snuck to the Christmas tree, I grabbed the wrapped gift in question, and hurried upstairs. Very sneakily and carefully, I unfolded part of the gift so that I could peek inside and confirm that this was the present I was expecting. After that, I carefully folded the piece of tape back over and returned the gift, placing it back under the Christmas tree. Definitely not a moment that I'm proud of. But that experience revealed something in my heart. I did not have faith and trust in the giver of the gift. I acted out of suspicion and doubt. All I had to do was submit my request and maybe plead my case that I really, really wanted this gift and then just trust that my family knew what was best for me and that either way, I would be loved and taken care of. And it's that kind of heart posture that makes it possible and much easier for us to wait patiently. Faith and trust. And our Father in Heaven is a good and perfect gift giver. Scripture says that if we as earthly and flawed parents know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more will our perfect Father in Heaven give good gifts? But oftentimes we will have to wait. And if we have to wait, why not wait patiently? Faith and trust are crucial components to have while we work to wait patiently for the gifts and the dreams that we are believing and praying for. And the opposite of faith is fear. And scripture tells us that it is impossible to please God without faith. It also says in Romans 8, if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patient and confidently. Now, confidence, that suggests faith and trust. All throughout scripture, we see incredible examples of how our fathers in the faith had to patiently wait for many decades for what was promised to them. Abraham waited 25 years for the promise of his son Isaac. How would my patience hold up? After Joseph was sold into slavery, he waited for 20 years to be reunited with his family. And Jacob was also separated from his family for 20 years. And the nation of Israel waited for liberation from their slavery in Egypt for hundreds of years. And those are just a few examples from the first two books of the Bible, not to mention the other 64 books. So, be encouraged today if you are finding yourself stuck waiting, struggling to be patient and content. Ask yourself, do I have faith and trust in the giver of the gift? We have a good and perfect Father in heaven who loves us and cares for us. That knowledge, that truth, should give us the strength we need to be patient in our waiting.